Hey everyone, so today I am filming my everyday makeup look. This is it. <laughs> this is basically just what I was wearing every day to work for pretty much the last like year. Obviously I'm at home currently and that everyone is. Be sure to subscribe and I will let you get on with the video. So I've already moisturised my face so I'm going to start off with the Revolution Mattify Matte and Fix Primer which is this one. I find this easier just to sort of squeeze it. I'm sort of looking behind because there's a mirror behind. So just sort of squeeze it on my face and then rub it in. Not that I really need any primer because it's currently half past 10 at night. So the first thing I do after primer is I do my eyebrows. I take the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in 327 and I just take Zoeva 233 Cream Shader Brush which looks disgusting now. And all I do is I make sure my eyebrows are brushed, which they are, and then take the concealer, which this is literally empty, so this is gonna be difficult. And I literally just take the brush and like take concealer off the brush and then shape my eyebrows. What I actually used to do is I used to use Gimme Brow, put Gimme Brow through my eyebrows, then do this step, but I don't have any Gimme Brow, so I can't do that. Now, I never do these like, they never look that perfect when I do them, but oh well. If there's a bit where I've concealed too much, I will just use the brow pencil to add some extra thickness to it or whatever. Um, I think I more so started doing this because I was too lazy and never plucked my eyebrows, so this sort of concealed all those hairs. Then I take this, I actually don't know, I think it's a sleek brush, um, and just blend this out again. I'm not really that neat with it, I just sort of blend it. Next I take my foundation and I take the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I have full shaded this, I normally use either F7 or F10, I think I'm going to kind of do a mixture today. I say today, it's half up, it's literally 20 to 11 at night. I normally do just like, it's got like a doe foot so I normally do like just a strip on each like cheek. I also don't know how my foundation is going to apply today because my skin's felt so weird today. Like, it's almost felt like, just like really rough. So I'm just going to do like a dot of this, sort of, like that. This was F7. And then I'm going to take my Wilton Needs Beauty Blender, which is disgusting. I do have a new one that I need to use, but yeah. And then I just get blending. I always like make sure I blend down my neck a little bit. I absolutely love this foundation. I find it so like such good coverage. And I literally put this on, well, when we were at work. I'd be putting this on at like 7 a.m. No, yeah, around seven. And I would literally have it on until probably like 9, 8, 9 p.m. So, sorry, I was just doing that to get my hair out of the way. Next thing I do is I would normally, I might have to change it up because I don't have much left. I would then take my same L'Oreal concealer under my eyes, but we might struggle a bit with that. So I might have to go onto a different concealer. Under my eyes. Oops. I actually really love this concealer. I'm then going to also maybe just for today, I don't normally do, but I'm going to take the Maybelline Instant, Instant Anti-Age Concealer. I reopened this the other day, like, because this hadn't, like, this was a brand new one, I hadn't opened. It was years old, but never been opened. So I was like, it's technically not out of date then. So, put a bit of that under my eye. Next thing I do is take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent and my Real Techniques, this is disgusting. Um, it's the 101 I think, 103. It's their Bold Metals brush. And then I just powder my face. So the reason I do the outline of my eyebrows and I don't fill them in yet is because I like to outline them and then I like to put the foundation on because I find sometimes you might get foundation in them or 
anything like that so this just saved me doing that and I also find if I outline them with the concealer and then do my foundation they look like I've not filled them in at all but they look like my eyebrows are done so I find that when it comes to filling them in I might not have to fill them in as much at this point I will then take my Urban Decay all night setting spray and just spritz my face with it next thing I do is my eyebrows so my go-to eyebrow pencil is the Revolution Pro dark brown I don't know what one this is called but it's got the gold bit so this is like my favorite one but as you can see that is me winding it the whole way up and there's literally none left in it so I don't know if I'm probably not gonna be able to use that actually something I do do at this point is I take my Burt's Bees lip light um lip balm and just I might try and get as much as I can out of this and then once it's fully gone I'm going to use the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil in dark brown because that looks really dark I swatched it on my hand yeah we're gonna have to go on to the e.l.f. one I find that by filling them in already it means that you already have the shape so you don't have to worry about making the shape of the pencil I'm not loving this eyebrow pencil, I find it's really just like, it twists up and down so like easy, like this feels like, and this is heavy, like this is weighted like, and it's so skinny, um, this is probably like a dupe for the Anastasia one, the Brow Wiz I think it might be called, or the Precise My Brow from Benefit, okay so I'm well aware my eyebrows look very different, but like I say, I ain't going nowhere, so it's fine. So next I take my Benefit 3D Brow Toner, she got me this in the shade 2, the woman, she told me I, with this one you've got to get the lighter shade, um, and it is good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel like it sets as well as like Gimme Brow, like as solid, And but then again, my eyebrows don't ever come off, so what do I know? Next thing I do is... I go on to bronzer. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I, my go-to for like the last year has been the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced, but this is my definitely like up there with that. I just use the Lottie London, this big fluffy brush. Now a little tip for bronzer. Stay above, like work up. I always go back. But just like always stay like above your where you would like contour, like stay above that. Because it's very tempting to like go on that contour line, but then you get it all down here and you don't really want that. I absolutely love bronzing when I've got fake tan on. Because when I'm not tanned, I find bronzer looks harsh. Whereas when I've got some tan on, it doesn't look as like harsh. Make sure you always bronze down your neck. Something I always do and never used to, but I feel really incomplete if I don't do it now. I literally just get the brush, sort of scrape a lot of it off and then sort of squeeze it. And not properly, just sort of like that. And then I just lightly brush either side of my nose. My aim there is not to contour my nose, it's more just to bronze my nose up a little bit. So my blusher I've been using every day is the matte that it's literally rubbed off. I'm pretty sure this is Desert Rose, it's like just a classic. I've used this every day for like a couple of years now, I absolutely love it. And then I use my Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush, which is meant to be like a contour. I just really like it for blush. I literally just swirl and then I normally do that. I sort of like to like build it up bit by bit I don't want to go full in like really I sort of stipple it as well if I want a bit more and then for highlight I take the the Balm Mary Luminizer and I take one of two brushes it depends so I either take this Luxie 522 tapered highlighter I think I've got this in a glossy box advent calendar or I take my Zoeva Luxe Highlight. I like this one when I'm tanned, this one when I'm not tanned. So as you can see, I've used quite a lot of this. I normally just like tap in it and then sort of hit it off the side. So I like to build it up. So yeah, as you can see, you can you can see it, but um, 
if I was to use the other brush, it would be like a lot more harsh. I think because this is a synthetic brush. I just take a little bit down my nose, keep it slow, and then I sort of just do it very light handed, like just under my eyebrow like that. Next, I'm gonna go back to my hula, and I'm just gonna take like, should we take this Luxe Soft Definer brush, so Eva? And I will just swirl this around, tap it off a little bit, and just blend this into my crease. So maybe on weekends if I was wearing makeup, I would do this more so than to work, because it takes two seconds, but when it's 7am and I'm tired, I'm not really thinking of putting some bronzer in my crease, I'm not gonna lie. Bring a little bit underneath. It does just give a nice little like bit of definition to your eyes though. Next, I will take my eyelash curlers. I don't know where I got these, I actually can't remember. They're just cute little rose gold ones, but I really can't remember where I got them from. The mascara I use, I don't know which one's the run out one, but I, I swear by this stuff. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I normally just, curl the one and then do the first layer of mascara and then curl the other and do the first layer just because i don't have very curly eyelashes so little tip if you don't have curly eyelashes and you're finding your mascara is like even if you curl your eyelashes and your mascara and you put mascara on but then throughout the day that your eyelashes aren't staying curly use a waterproof mascara i guarantee you it will help as soon as i start using a waterproof mascara life changer Always make sure that you are like, my best technique, like my technique that I use is I sort of get to the bottom and I sort of close my eye a little bit and just sort of wiggle it up. I do find I have quite naturally long lashes. Um, so I always, always get it on my lid, always. I normally just like go in with the curler like a couple of times. Um, before I put the mascara on because you know each time you might miss a couple of lashes and then by the time I finish this like curling and stuff normally this eye is sort of dried enough where I can go in for another layer I normally just do two because it is waterproof it's a pain to take off I just literally do the same thing again but normally the second time I'm a bit more like rough with it because it's dry a little bit it sort of transfers underneath but I just take it underneath as well with whatever's left on the brush so the last thing is my lips i normally use max saw lip liner but i for the life of me don't know where i've put it so i'm going to use the ColourPop pink one i don't know if the color is going to be right it needs sharpening and the reason i like to line my entire lip is because i'm using the mac cosmo lipstick but it's an amplified formula so it's cream so it rubs off a lot quicker throughout the day and the final thing i do again is i go back to my setting spray and spritz my face for the last time so this is my finished look I hope you enjoyed this video. Give you a little simple makeup tutorial that you could like copy or just have get some ideas from of products, see how the products perform. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment any like maybe video ideas you have or anything you'd like to see and I will see you in my next video. Bye!